if you don't do things right, <laughs> it's doomed to fail from the start. Like So you want to keep on top of everything. Hard watch is probably the easiest app out there. I mean, not just farming for anything, like it's literally click the button stuff. You can't go wrong. It's simple to use, anyone can use it. I'm Barney Carroll, I'm in Craig Moreclare Galway in County Galway and I'm farming here with my uncle Tom McGrath, it's his farm. He knows a lot more than I know, he's been at it a lot longer, you know, so learn from the people around you, I guess. Well, the cattle, it's predominantly Frisian that we buy in. We have bullocks in that we bring on to finish, stores bring on to finish. So we've got a meal bin there last year that we found was beneficial for take labour out of it as well. And we run a yo flock, just a few pedigree Suffolk yaws that we're just getting into now and see how they turn out. And about 70 odd commercial yaws in for breeding. Heard about Herdwatch through Facebook. One of Rory Best videos was up and I clicked the link in and ended up downloading the app and the lads from Herdwatch didn't contact me in relation to joining and the lads they rang me about it, top class and fierce easy deal with. It's probably the easiest thing to get signed up to was Herdwatch. It was just putting your herd number and a few small details and you're started there. When Purchasing medicines in the vets or anything, I would record and herd watch straight away. There's no issue of coming back to the shed at night time or anything, getting the package to record in the book. And it's the same way with flock watch. As soon as I get anything for the sheep, it's recorded straight in flock watch on the phone. If we're selling cattle, say privately or anything, all you need is the other person's herd number and put it in and you'll get a movement number that you can send on a link to whoever, whoever is buying the stock and that's it there's it's a simple it's the simplest thing i've ever seen to use is the the movement side of things in herd watch i've only started using herd watch since our last inspection but going forward i think it's going to be very beneficial just print off the board b inspection report and it's there to hand over i have all the land marked out on it um, it's it's actually a very handy tool just to, to record if you're using pesticides or fertilizer or anything, just so you can record what's going where and the amount that's going in there. So using Herdwatch for recording all the feed purchases here in the farm. The bulk stuff comes in, the lads leave the docket off the lorry, it's gone in straight away, and if I buy anything, the co-op in bags, it's recorded straight away before I leave the co-op. It's literally 30 seconds. If you want to look back how much you got last month or whatever without pulling out dockets and that, it's all there on the phone. I've only started using Flockwatch probably March time. I, I think it's, it's excellent and I think going forward it's going to be even better when the O's lamb just literally tag number, go into the notes what they had there and then, get it done out of the way and you know exactly what way, whether it's a milky O or not. So I think flock watch will be even more beneficial to us here than herd watch because we have more sheep. I was on to the lads in herd watch and flock watch and they recommended, I suppose, a starter reader and it was fierce handy. I was literally just turn on the EID reader and have the app opened and there's like a Bluetooth symbol at the top of the app, connect straight away. If I see a lamb just not going as well as I like, I just put a note in it with the O, just to keep an eye on things the way it's going. Like this year now, say, we'd be splitting the O's with two rams. So you can group them up in flock watch, create two groups. And at least then when the O's are lambed down, just go to the tag, you know what group they're in, because we'll have them all run together when they're coming to lambing. So instead of putting marking spray everywhere in yours between the rattle marks, the scanning results and everything, there's an awful lot of paint on them. Um, so this way it's one thing less that you have to be marking up yours to know what rams they're with. Like When we're weaning the lambs, I suppose, We'd be recording with the O's what lambs have done well, what ones that we'd want to be watching the O's wise to if the lambs haven't reached the sort of target weights that we were hoping for. That like at the end of the day they're all they're all getting fed the same and things like that. So we'd you would hope that they would be pretty level like come to Wien and Anton that's a long way behind, we'd be keeping an eye on the O that she could be cold at the end of the year, you know. It's probably the easiest app out there. I mean, not just farming for Anton, like it's literally click the button stuff, you can't go wrong. And even if you have any issues, if you ring the lads in Herdwatch, no matter who you seem to get there, top class, like they'll have a sort in a couple of minutes for you. You're not writing in the backs of books. Like like when I split the O's last year for the Rams, I have a list of tag numbers 
recorded like in a diary down the house that you'd be digging out to see what's where, where at least everything is on the phone there. And even with the cattle, if there's bullocks back there, that a bullock that we're not happy with or anything, it's easy just to see what's the story of him, um, where he came from, things like that, if there's anything that we need to watch with him. So I recommended it to a few friends of mine and cousins of mine that, and they've all signed up and they actually find it brilliant. So yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, I'd recommend it.